Hey everybody, it's Christian back again for another amazing science short. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is a really awesome craft that brings the night sky right into your home. So we're going to be making our own uh, DIY constellations. Now a constellation is a picture that we make in the night sky by taking the stars and connecting some imaginary lines between them. You guys probably know some really cool constellations at home and we're going to actually take those constellations and make a cool little craft uh, just using some really common household items. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to do this craft, it's super easy. You can probably find all of these supplies at home. Uh, we just need some black construction paper, some white paint, uh, some scissors, a thumbtack or another uh, really pointy sharp object, a uh, paper craft roll or a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, whatever you have at home, uh, a little paintbrush or a uh, cra white crayon or marker, and some tape. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that the size of the paper that you end up cutting will fit around the end of our paper tube here. So what you'll do is you can uh, either using a pencil or a pen or anything, uh, just take your paper tube and you want to just draw a little circle and then cut out that circle. That way we can tape it onto the end. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now what you want to do next is find your favorite constellation. Now some of you guys may not know some constellations, but if you don't know any, you can go ahead and create your own. Or if you just hop on the internet with your parents' help, you can go ahead and look up some really cool constellations. Maybe you'll choose the bigger Little Dipper. Maybe you'll choose Orion. Really, the possibilities are endless. Right. Next thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and draw out our constellation. Now you can do this with some white paint, but you can also do it with a white crayon or any other marker that will show up on our black construction paper. Now with these stars that we create, we want to make sure that you do them very small because again, our shooter sheet of paper here is not too big and it's got to fit around our little tube. So we're going to be really careful. I'm actually going to use the back end of my paintbrush here just to create some dots. Now after I create this constellation, I want to see if you guys can guess which one I'm making. Now with this next step, we're gonna go ahead and actually poke some holes through the stars that we made. Now you can do this using a thumbtack or a toothpick that you have at home, but you wanna make sure you are extra careful or you don't want to hurt yourself. So if you need to go ahead and grab a parent for this step, go ahead and do that now. All right. Now that we have the holes poked through our sheet of paper, it's time to attach it into our tube. Now you wanna make sure you do this with the side that you colored or painted facing down. So that's gonna go on the top of the tube. And once you place it on top, you're just gonna grab a couple of strips of tape, and make sure it's nice and secure. And just like that, you've got your very own constellation tube. Now the way you can use this, if you wanna go ahead and look through your open side, point it up towards any source of light that you have, and what you'll see is our constellation actually shining down through. Let's give you guys a look. And there you guys have it, one of your very own constellation tubes where you can look at the constellations from home. But 
don't let the fun end there. There's all sorts of awesome resources that you guys can actually take to look up at the night sky wherever you live. You go online and you search up a sky map. You can actually download and print out one of these awesome maps that give you a really good idea of where most of these constellations are gonna be. Now it is gonna differ based on the time and place that you guys are, so make sure you're looking up exactly where you are and exactly what time of year it is to make sure you have the most accurate representation. Once again, I'm Christian. Thanks for joining us. Hey guys, just want to thank you guys for watching our content. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit that like button down below. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe. That way you're up to date on all the really cool science experiments that we're going to be bringing your way. Now, if you haven't heard, we have some really big announcements. Our doors are partially reopened. We have some really cool exhibits that you guys can check out, bring in your families, bring in your kids, and enjoy some of the things about the Science Center that you've come to love. Now, we are taking some very special safety precautions, so please make sure you check our website for the latest updates on that. We thank you for sticking with us throughout this entire endeavor and helping us continue our mission to open every mind to science.